Recently, Suzanne Spaulding, a former undersecretary of the Department of Homeland Security, took some time to attack our program, America's Lawyer on RT America, saying that we're harming the United States by pointing out the flaws in our justice system. Turnabout is fair play, so we did some digging into Ms. Spaulding's past and found out what really wasn't surprising at all. As a matter of fact, there's stories that both Farron and I have reported over the years time and time again. Farron, this is, I look at this story. They come out against RT because we're reporting about fracking. We're reporting about Wall Street banks stealing millions of money from mom and pop investors. We're, in, we're coming out against corporations that are polluting us out of existence. We're coming out against corporations that are contributing to climate change. We're coming out with, uh, I mean, just story after story that is just telling the truth. And they said, oh my God, this is a vast Russian conspiracy and Putin is behind what I'm doing and what you're doing now. You know, basically, this is some vast, they even, they even uh, make the suggestion that Ring of Fire is owned by RT, which it's not, has nothing, in, in, no, there's no ownership issue here. This, but as I looked at this story, here's what I thought about. I thought about the stories that you have written about in stories that you've reported about for years. And that is that what we used to think, well, it, did you ever see the, um, the movie, I think it's the, uh, the Wag the Dog. Right. And Wag the Dog was about the, the arms industry churning up war, okay? And I started looking at Miss Suzanne Spaulding, and we started looking about what's her background. Why don't you take it there and I'll add as we go, okay? Well, uh, as you mentioned previously, she did some time as an undersecretary at Homeland Security. Uh, her big thing was cyber security. And during that time, she you know, managed this $3 billion budget uh, for this entire organization, but she was also working with CEOs, working with corporations, trying to always tell them the next big threat is right around the corner. And then when she left Homeland Security, that became her full-time job. That's where she makes her money, yeah. is telling corporations, and I'm assuming, I'm positive this is someone who still has her security clearance. No, so that's that, how she makes money. Right, that's a yeah, big yeah. selling point for anybody looking to hire her. Right. So she goes out there, and this was what she did during this speech. She says, listen, RT America is trying to undermine the United States by pointing out all of our flaws. Yeah. She, she didn't even dispute that it was accurate. She just said they're, they're talking about all the bad things we do in this country. And that's part of Putin's plan somehow by showing people what's, what's real yeah. versus the corporate censored news. In other words, when you and I get on RT and we talk about the fact that today, Wells Fargo has to pay another billion dollars from stealing from American, ta uh, American consumers. She thinks that's bad because yeah. we're undermining the system. When we go on RT and we talk about the fact that judges are now owned and operated by conservative GOP corporate types, that's bad for the system. Look, this woman is nothing but a war pimp. Right. And the organizations she works for are nothing but war pimps. And the people she surrounded herself are nothing but war pimps. I, when I read, when, I, when we actually did some, did some research, and this is just, by the way, we've just started with this research and we've just started with these stories. But I take a look at who does she speak to? Do you see anything in here where she gives speeches to uh, environmental organizations or advocacy groups for consumers or groups that are out there looking out for the interest of taxpayers. No, her speeches are to Goldman Sachs, Exxon, Boeing, McDonnell Douglas, DuPont, Dow. She is just one of them. She is nothing more than a puppet for these organizations. And she happens to have a clearance, a security clearance. So all of a sudden, these organizations that are saying, oh my God, RT's actually talking about us. She gets upset because she's paid to get upset. Exactly. And this group that she's with, this is the group she gave the speech for. She's a, a fellow here, the Center for Strategic and International Studies. They, they actually boast about being one of the most influential uh, in terms of being embedded with the defense contractors, with the Pentagon. They actually get funding. She's bragging about it. Yeah, they get yeah. funding. Yeah 
from the Department of Defense, this group that she is with. They get funding from the government. So she's out here spreading this propaganda like they want her to, to corporations. So they spend more money to do it. Right. Okay. She's part of this Aspen group. Did you follow? I I looked at the Aspen group. Did you take a look at it? The Aspen group, if you were to put a room full of people that look like a setting out of Dr. Strange Love, like we will bomb you into non-existence, it is that group. The people that are funding her, the people that are paying Suzanne, uh, Suzanne Spaulding's way are Lockheed, they're Northrop, they're Boeing. This right, the list is right here. Yeah. The, they're General Dynamics, they're Raytheon. And so, so again, you have this element that are what I call the Hillary bot holdovers. And the Hillary bot holdovers buy into this because everything that is Russian is bad. And so these folks are the folks that would gladly start conflict with Iran. They would start conflict with China. They would gladly start a new Cold War with Russia. They would start a new Cold War, a new war anywhere in the world because that's how they make their money. Except I actually, I have to correct you on this because the one place they're not going to start a war is Saudi Arabia and the United it's, Arab Emirates there you go. because they're also getting money from them. <laughs> yes. The groups that Suzanne Spaulding well, is with is taking money you found the from thing. those countries. You, so you, the you, ones that are the real enemies, not just of the United States, but of humanity in general, well, they're paying them. Yeah, and yeah. They're also now, buying 20 billion can, in weapons right can now. Can you imagine going around giving speeches that these, these TV shows, like the one we do, where we talk about bad judges, that are just in the pocket of corporate America. We talk about the dynamics of the war industry wanting to chum up war by by fear, by saying, oh my God, you know, uh, if we're not careful, China is gonna stomp on us. If we're not careful, Iran's gonna have another nuclear bomb tomorrow. This, they are in the business of war. And this, I, I tell you, if you have any doubt that this actually exists, there really is a, it's a, it's a, it's a fictional movie, but it's called, uh, it's called Wag the Dog. Take a look at Wag the Dog and you then understand what these folks are all about. Again, there's no higher calling here. Suzanne Spaulding is not operating with any kind of higher calling. She's operating on the only calling is, is when the Arab Emirates wants to give her a million dollars for making a tour and talking about, you know, the threat of Iraq or whatever it may be, she, she's taking the money. When, when Northrop or when, well, I, I have the list right here, by yeah. the way, when Boeing, General Dynamics, Raytheon, DuPont, Exxon, it, when these companies want her to give a speech, she does it. She doesn't give a speech for advocacy groups. You will never find Suzanne Spaulding giving a speech for an environmentalist activist group, because according to Suzanne, they want to undermine the sanctity of the judicial system in America. You'll never see her giving a speech for a consumer group that says, by God, pharmacy, co- pharmacy costs need to come down because and according to Susan, Suzanne Spaulding and all the little, the, the gremlins, the flying monkeys that she works with, they would determine, oh, by God, the Russians are trying to undermine the American justice system. Do you see it any other way? No, I mean, a- absolutely not. And, and she's also, you know, uh, Chevron, Exxon, Saudi Aramco. Those are other uh, companies that are funding these groups that she works for and that she speaks on behalf of. I mean, this is, is th- this woman is so embedded in both the military industrial complex with the climate change denying complex. She's served in both Republican and Democratic administrations. This is everything that is wrong with this country. She was a key advisor to the CEOs. Now listen to this. This, If if you're watching this show, go look at what the business round table is. The business round table are nothing more than this gaggle of corporate CEOs who want to take more money from Americans and want to do it however they can get by, whether it's breaking the law, whether it's changing the law, whether it's stacking the court system with right wing corporate judges, they're going to do it. Now, uh, there's more to this story. Let's pick it up in another segment. Absolutely. And, and, and just to add a exclamation point on that, 
If anybody isn't familiar with the Business Roundtable, they, they are the U.S. Chamber of Commerce on steroids. Yeah. The worst of the worst from that organization is who's made up uh, uh, the Business Roundtable there. So Suzanne Spaulding, welcome to Ring of Fire that, oh, by the way, is not owned by the Russians. Get ready for more Suzanne Spaulding.